Sweet. YouTube on our station site, so I love it. Dude, it's been a while, man. You were here a couple years ago with the brothers, and oh, we were, it was. It, it was insanity. <laughs> I just remember the phone calls from, like, local stalkers that apparently you didn't know you had at the time, which it was the beginning of the... There's still a couple stalkers out there. I'll bet, man. I just oh, yeah. remember the girls in the parking lot, so... I know. I don't know if they know that I'm here yet. <laughs> I may have made mention of that. Oh, Sorry. well. Joe Jonas in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Now the secret's <laughs> out. Uh, new record. Let's talk about this record. Let's do it. Um, let's play it here in just a second. Tell us a little bit about it. I mean, obviously, Nick's done his own thing. There's yep. The Jonas Brothers obviously have oodles yeah. of talent. Now they're on their own. What's this song about? It's like a folk hip-hop record. Okay. okay. I'm just kidding. I was waiting for like, <laughs> you to start dropping some rhymes from it. Yeah. Um, no, it's, it's, a, it's like a, kind of a dance house record, urban okay. record. And, um, I brought it with Chris Brown. We got in the studio one day, and, and just our schedules worked out, so we worked, worked on the song. And um, it's just an end of a relationship song when you get reminded around you of everything you see. So it could be an article of clothing or something that she left behind, and you're just you're trying to get you know her off, off your mind, and you don't want to see no more. All right, so the song's called "See No More." Let's crank That's it up. It. Let's do it. And it plays. Right and we come back and uh, we talk about the song. But let's talk about working with Chris Brown for a second. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you saw the thing on TMZ today where he's getting all this slack about parking his cars in handicap spots and stuff like that. Really? I that didn't dude, see that. I'm here to tell you, man, nobody has more of a hard time with people looking over his shoulder all the time, I think, than that guy. Would you agree? President Obama. <laughs> that might be one. That might be one. <laughs> um, Prince Harry. No. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't see that. I didn't know that he was getting yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, It's totally stupid because it's like his parking spots and they just happen to have... Right. They didn't handle the handicap thing. It's, you know, that's my point, though, is like he, he just can't get away from it. You've had your experiences with that. Yeah, I mean, there's been... I've had times where it's like, you know, either say a public breakup or something, yeah, and yeah. You, you, you'll be followed by the paparazzi like crazy, and I usually just... I'll just call my buddies to be like, yo, you just want to roll with me all day, get my car, we don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And, um... Yeah, me and Chris, you know, when we were, worked together, we didn't we didn't really think about all the personal stuff, you know, whatever that goes on with him or me. I was just like, let's just get in the studio and we'll just write some music. Uh, talk about car. What kind of car were you riding there, man? Riding? What kind of Don't car the Jonas Brothers have this track record of, like, I mean, seriously, we love cars. excellent cars? <laughs> um, I I have a Mercedes G-Wagon yeah, at home. All right. And then... Um, <laughs> And then I... I drive a Chevy, actually. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's a Honda now. Sorry. <laughs> um, but I, I, love, I, love, I love it. I love my car. Right on. What else, man? Uh, talk about... Uh, let's talk about girls. You <laughs> had some public girls over the years. I mean, what's going on in your life right now with girls? Um, single, man. Yeah. Single right now, which has been nice. I, I don't know if I could put anybody through my crazy schedule. I'm a, I'm a busy guy, and I, now that it's all solo stuff, it's even busier. I'm running from city to city, and they're adding cities every day. So. Right on. But I'm, I, you know, I love traveling, and there's beautiful women all over the world. So. Joe, Joe Jonas I'm joining not. us here on the AJ Radio Show here on 97.1 ZHD. Uh, all right, so what are you doing then? So a single right life now. means what? What are you? What clubs are you going? What are you doing for? Are you hitting Yankees games all the time? What are you doing? Oh, I love the Yankees games. Um, well, for me, just so busy. I mean, but when we're in cities here and there, I mean, we go to some clubs. You know, we we were in London for a while. We had some fun there. We were not went out. Quite a few times, and I don't know. I mean, Fourth of July weekend was fun too. Sweet. So just running around, right. nothing too crazy. Well, dude, it's been an honor to have you here. So uh, the new record, here. "See No More." Thank When's you. the album? The album comes out in our, in uh, the fall right now. Okay. No date gets announced, um, so keep looking out for that. So, uh, what, what's going on with your brothers? Is they they are chilling right now. They're just um, they're taking time to be able to do some stuff of their own. My older brother is just building his house up with his wife. And my younger brother, Nick, he's writing and producing for a ton of artists. He's actually doing hairspray like in two weeks. That's awesome. Hollywood, dude. I think Hollywood I think I read Bowl. that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You got any aspirations of doing uh, theater stuff? Yeah, or, I mean, well, we've, you've done the TV thing. and you've, Yeah, I'm actually, I, mean, I just got a, a phone call from a friend of mine. We're, we're working on um, developing a movie project together. Okay. And so I'll either star in it or produce it. And um, it probably will shoot next year. So it'll come out either in a year or two. But it's just something I've been really excited about. And, did you ever get used to the sex symbol thing? The sex symbol thing? Um, I find it funny sometimes. Really? I don't, I don't know if you I think know. I would just be, I would wake up every morning and look at myself and go, I'm awesome. And you're like, <laughs> really? <laughs> what, what up the hell else would you do? I mean, really? Um, sometimes it can be, you know, very flattering. Yeah, of course it can. Yes, I mean, I'm, 
I think one of the don't one tell of the, the moments, political line here. Be honest one with of us. One the moments that I was very happy about was uh, the. I, I'm up for like a male hottie for Teen Choice Award. Yeah, baby. There we go. That's really good. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I don't know what. I guess I was hoping that I could somehow find a way to relate to you on that, but of course I can't. You know? <laughs> um. What else do you want to talk about, man? we got a few extra minutes here. Anything mm -hmm. that, that I'm not hitting on that you want to hit on? Wow. Um, Take a pick. The weather's nice here. Yeah. <laughs> well, everywhere else it's complete and total hell. Where are you heading next? Uh, we're headed this afternoon to Minneapolis. Yeah, okay. So hopefully it'll be okay. i got to show you this picture. Maybe you can get it on the camera. A buddy of mine pulled up. Uh, he drew his own weather forecast map for today. And I don't know if you can see it on the screen here, but I'll show Joe. Amazing. And it's literally just, you know, Earth is pissed at us and breathing fire. Mm. It's going to be 110. <laughs> I'm going to Chicago for a wedding here in a couple of days. And oh, it's nice. going to be 100 degrees there. And I'm leaving here and it's 100. So, What what uh, uh what are what are plans for you? Are you going on any big trips or anything this summer? What's going on? Uh, next next month there's some, some tour possibilities. So I might okay. be going on the road and, and doing some, uh, some touring. Probably either August, September time and then okay. hopefully in the fall. And uh, the, so when the album comes out, I'll be doing lots of promo and things like that. Right. Do you have any, uh, or what are some bands oh, you want to... Paris this weekend, which oh. is exciting. Jeez. <laughs> How <laughs> could I forget? What what, uh, uh, what what bands you want to go with? What what artists, what groups? You talked about working with Chris Brown. Yeah. I'm sure he'd be just I mean, awesome I'm, to go yeah, on a awesome. tour with. But I mean, I guess people I would like to work with primarily... Um, it's always hard to say, like, what who artists you'd like to Like a Joe Jonas Gaga duet. Hey, that'd be cool. Right? I think I would, <laughs> I would love to work with somebody. You know, I love Kanye West music. Cool. Um, I mean, I, I, I just love a lot of hip-hop stuff, too. So I, anywhere anywhere from kind of indie rock to where it might be, like, something like The Strokes or... And not that it necessarily sounds like anything I did, but it would just be mm -hmm. kind of interesting mm -hmm. to work with different mm -hmm. artists. Like, Those are the kind of groups you listen to? Great. Yeah, I listen to all sorts of stuff. My iPod is so eclectic, it's ridiculous. Cool. You can never really figure out what I'm Most random thing we would find on your iPod. Wow. Random. I most mean, random. random. Like, uh, I'm not talking like Kenny Chesney or something like that, because he's most, cool. We can listen to most him. Most random thing. I'll pull it He's going to pull it up. I'm going to take a wild guess. Let me throw an artist out here. Uh, Enya. Enya. Do you have Enya on I your iPod? I don't have Enya. Okay. Um, ben impressed me with the more eclectic, eccentric. Uh, this is a good one. Have you heard of band Sugar Rush? No. They're an Icelandic band. Icelandic. And they sound kind of trippy and crazy, but it's good music to fall asleep to. Okay. Sounds like this. So kind of Enya-ish. Sounds like this. Let me see if I can fast forward or something yeah. good. Very like, I want to take a nap. Yeah. The guy like, sings in Icelandic. Like oceans, time. sort of. Yes. Ocean sounds yeah. right. music. Dude, this is great, man. Thank you very much for Absolutely. coming in. Thank you for having me, bro. Joe Jonas. Playing the record. Appreciate the, it. Yeah, man. See No More. Great record, too. Uh, and the album coming out in the fall. Yes, the fall. Look for it. And I'll hopefully be back there playing some music. And my five-year-old still will... We have to yeah. T-Bow Jonas episodes every time. <laughs> so I love it. I have to give a shout-out. Lily's listening right now. So. Love it. Hey, Lily. Thanks, Joe. Absolutely. Good man. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Can I get you to do...